What's up guys, it's Alexi Pike, welcome to my channel, and this is going to be one of these videos um, where I tell you the truth about things, about my seizures, so I've been getting told that I'm lying about my seizures on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Well, technically not Facebook. Because I would never post anything, my, anything about my seizures on Facebook. Um, but I, the other apps, people are saying I'm faking seizures because I don't have seizures on camera. So here's the thing. With my seizures, it's like I zone out. I go, I would be talking and then I would be like staring out into space. But because um, my seizures are from my brain, I do stuff that I'm unaware of. In 2019, my mom was trying to fix my dress at a McDonald's parking lot. And I thought it was someone trying to grab me, so as soon I could feel my dress like moving and stuff. Um, when I was halfway out of my seizures, and all of a sudden I just turn around and punch my mom in the face. On accident. She knew it was an accident, so she didn't call the cops. I was 16. But I would do the most embarrassing things when I'm in a seizure. And they've gotten worse when I was on my medication. So now I'm not on any. And they've gotten much, much worse during the full moons. So, um... You guys don't see me have seizures. Or hear me have seizures. When I'm on a video. Because I don't show my face when I'm like doing... In a scare text message story or gaming videos. Gaming videos is fine, but you guys will hear when I have a seizure is because my voice will be like, yes, yeah, so I'll do that. But that's embarrassing, so I will delete the video, even if it's been 43 minutes. And restart. And restart. And restart. People with my kind of seizures have trouble we starting having trouble making like YouTube videos. My stomach just got. <sighs> With me, people don't understand how hard it is to make videos. With that are epileptic. It literally takes me like at least four hours till I get it right. I would have to keep on deleting my videos and then remaking them, then deleting them back and forth. And so that's why sometime, sometimes it would say I didn't post a video at all that day because I couldn't. And during the full moon, I don't poach, poach? I don't post videos because the full moon makes me have a lot more seizures. And so will the heat when it's summertime. But not as bad as a full moon. Sometimes when there's a full moon coming at night time, I'll get dizzy. Oh, so this is going to get married in October. Sorry. I was supposed to get married in October 2025, but you, know, you guys know how that turned out with a Cheeto. I'm not allowed to get back together with them, and I will never get back together with them. Um, but besides the point. Um, so, with my seizures, I would do some embarrassing stuff. I started... Literally, recently, this year, I started coming out of my seizures, but I would say inappropriate things before I'm even out of them. And I'm not going to say them because they're so bad. 
So here's what we are planning on doing since the video is going to be all with me, Jake, and his best friend, and my friend. His face, when we explore haunted places, I'm going to have them blow out my face. Or when they know I'm starting to go in one, just put the camera down or face it towards someone else. Like, if if E was recording me and then I start going in a seizure, he could face it, the camera towards Jacob until I'm out, which is like 30 seconds later. And if I say something inappropriate, they will just beep it out. The whole entire wood. And they'll blow my face out when I start to have a seizure too. I don't post them out of my seizures is because when I had friends before I met Jake and his friend, I went in a seizure on my birthday when we went out to eat with my friends and one of my friends took a video of me while I was in a seizure and posted it and was making fun of me because of him. So that's why I don't post about my seizures at all because I do do inappropriate s no not inappropriate stuff I do do embarrassing stuff but I say Im inappropriate things that could if I say it right now I could get probably banned and I can't help it because I'm not really there when I'm in the seizure like for me here Seizures bother people when they watch. If they watch this, these kind of flash nights don't bother me. Well, they don't trigger my seizures. Um. And if I'm in a dark room while watching this video, it will make me dizzy. I was a bit dizzy today. I got dizzy at like at 7 p.m. It's 11.9 p.m. And I'm fine now. But if I'm in a dark room, like if I'm at a movie theater, I'm allowed to go to movie theaters even though I have seizures. But with the flash of nights, if I'm in a dark room, that will make me dizzy. Here's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me in public. This has never happened. The well, but the most embarrassing thing is something what I did when I was in fourth grade and when I was in tenth grade. They just say it was bad, and would have been m more embarrassing if I was in school that day. And I would have a nickname instead of Slutty Heidi when I'm not even a slut. Okay, so the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me in was in school. It was summer school. We went to the art room because we were gonna do something. But something happened to me that I don't that I can't technically explain. All I see is black. There. That's better. That's not better. Stay. Okay. <gasps> Let's fix that real quick. There. Oh, I'm blinded. Okay, there you guys can see my eyes. Um, so, I was in school, we went to the art room to do something for summer school. And I can't explain what happened because I don't even know what happened. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't a grandma seizure. I was in 5th grade going on 6th grade 
Th this is sixth grade classes. No, fifth grade. I was in special ed, so it was fifth grade. It was before I met my best friend, my gold best friend. After tying her into a chair, but let's not talk about that. Um, we did this thing. We used shaving cream and put food dye in it. Two different ones. And my friend, well, she's not my friend. My pot, my partner, she was swirling it around, and I was staring at it, and all of a sudden, I collapsed. My brain was fuzzy. My eyes were blurry. I collapsed twice, well once, but the teachers helped me up and helped me wash my hands because my hands were covered in shaving cream and we wa I washed my hands and stuff and then everything go goes black but I didn't pass out and when I saw again I noticed I was on the floor and I asked my teachers did I fall? And sh they were like, no, we sat you down and stuff. So I don't know what happened then. If you guys have any suggestions on what could have happened, feel free to comment, uh, comment it. Because I don't remember anything that has happened from that day. And I don't even know if that was a good seizure. That's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me in school. In front of a whole class. It was only a couple of people, but it was still embarrassing. And I don't post about my seizures because of the things I do. So people need to stop saying I'm faking my seizures. I've been off my medication for six years because the teacher forced me to be off of them. So after that... I never started them up again because I don't know what could happen once I start seizure medicine again. Who knows, I might have a good mal seizure and actually die. My seizure actually stopped my heart temporarily. And that could be the reason why I have chest pains all the time. Well, that's the end of this technical, technically story time of my of my seizures and stuff. I hope you enjoyed content. I, I hope you enjoyed this story and any other content on my channel. If you do, please hit the sus subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.